Hey guys, Basic Sorgonomics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, and uh, I don't know how much we got out of the other day when I talked about some of the um, time management issues with the the, 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 you should take all the time and get that thing done you're passionate about versus the, yeah, you should work for like five hours a day and just live the rest of your life. Okay, all right. But it depends on what you're at, what you're working on. Well, part of that has been trimming down. And and I took some of my uh, my friends' advice about kind of looking outside and seeing what matters, what works. And actually, this kind of intermixes a little bit of the Vaynerchuk stuff and say, hey, look at the numbers, see what's happening. Um, so as you know, podcast day, I tend to, you know, I'm here on Tuesday nights and uh, I do the thing. And then I come around to um, Wednesday and I tend to spend half of Wednesday, sometimes the whole of Wednesday, basically doing kind of the breakdown, marketing, distribution, uh, planning, scheduling of the social media around the podcast that we've done, the three to four to five that we do on Tuesday nights. And it takes a big chunk of time. And I've already I've already uh, uh, trimmed some things out of that. We have already uh, taken away Clamor. I have loved to be on Clamor. We were getting a bit of a reaction there. But again, it's not enough of a reaction to justify it. Justify the time it takes to find a clip and 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 trim that down. Again, if we kind of had somebody that was finding those clips like during the shows or something, that'd be a different story. Um, but we don't have a lot of body, bodies to throw out these situations and then do the edits, you know, kind of more in tune and have the have the time code to do that. Um, it just doesn't work for where we're at with the productions right now. So it's a nice to have, but it's not required. Um, we were posting the videos, the audios to the audios, the audio versions of the shows to multiple, multiple, multiple places. Um, namely Spreaker, Stitcher, iTunes, iHeartRadio, uh, Daily Motion, Facebook, Archive.org, YouTube, and you probably haven't heard of a couple of those. And those are probably the ones that I'm not going to be using here. Um, oh, the audio just got better. Let's kill that other microphone, huh? Um, so I started looking at those, and while Daily Motion, we're getting a little bit of traction, but it's nothing regular. It's it's a few hits here and there. And in the long run, it, it, it doesn't work out. So we're, we're moving on from that. Um, uh, stage 32 <laughs> was a place that I posted all the videos to. It's this um, social network for video movie people, videographers, actors, whatever the case may be. And it was a kind of an interesting idea. But I never saw anything other than... You know, I never really saw any interaction with anything on there. And I've just been posting stuff. Um, and, and yeah, not that I was great to reach out, but even the little bits that I did have conversations with weren't really in the right line of work, I guess, for me. Um, so again, didn't seem like something that was worthwhile to keep pushing towards, right? Uh, let's say Daily Motion we Cut, uh, Spreaker. I love Spreaker because it gives us the the handoff to iHeartRadio. And I can say, hey, we're on iHeartRadio. That's a big platform that, maybe more radio people are coming over so maybe we are, people are finding us and in some of the some of the shows actually it's, they're doing fairly well on there and is it is a new audience for some of them but for some of these smaller shows these uh, uh google hangout shows like the wrap-ups and the midweek wars didn't make sense anymore not seeing the numbers it's not that worth it's not worth that extra couple of minutes and yeah, in most of these cases, we're talking about a couple of minutes, like 30 seconds, uh, another thing. It's another it's another task to process times how many episodes times how many whatever. Right. And that adds up. It definitely adds up over time, which leads to a full day doing post podcast work and posting on Wednesday that, you know, again, you know, these are not, you know, really an income generator or anything. So it's hard to take that day away. And I'm taking away the unprofitable days out of my out of my work week so we can get to the stuff that matters and moves not just profitability for a company, but just moves moves the ball forward creatively and in projects and to make something bigger. You know, more is the important thing is is the growth than than the financial or whatnot. Um So breaking those down, hopefully it'll make a shorter day. Hopefully I'll get a little bit more sleep here on Tuesday nights. Uh, something else that we're doing around that, uh, geez, there was another one. Daily Motion, I said we're cutting out. Again, we were mostly doing clips. Um, Facebook, 
we have seen such an exponential growth on Facebook. We've hit, what's a better way to put this? We've hit a nerve, I guess, on, on Facebook. And for whatever reason, I think I know why. And maybe we can have a whole other episode around why I think why. Um, which I think I want to have with Dutters because I think she's going to understand this a little more than I do. Um, but uh, but videos are doing very, very well. Like our reach on Facebook is in the 40,000s um, last I checked today. And, uh, and, and that's significant. And I think more eyeballs, I don't know how long they're sticking around. Well, I, I, I can check, but more eyeballs are looking at our stuff, which means more people can potentially be sticking around and discovering our stuff because of the way we're posting on there. Awesome cast, not half bad either. Um, not amazing like, like the other one. I haven't figured out the secret formula there, um, but definitely well enough to stay on the platform and keep posting our videos to it. Archive.org was something that we cut. I would love the idea to keep my shows on archive.org because they are an extension of the Library of Congress. If you post whatever you do on there, it's now in the Library of Congress and will be kept under Creative Commons or whatever the case may be there. I think that's a pretty good deal. Unfortunately, that's another couple of minutes I have to post every podcast. Again, as you go, as you get bigger, as you have a person that has that they're zoned in on this is the task list I need to do for every episode. OK, we'll add those things back in because as a whole, yes, it does add to that grand number that you're trying to get to as you're trying to build podcasts to have bigger audience to have opportunities to do other things. Sure. Um, they just didn't extend or or push the agenda basically of what we're trying to do with the shows um so that's part of the trimming down other parts of the trimming down are kind of deciding what parts of other <laughs> what parts of the business things um don't make sense um you know that's one thing with the podcasting you know you know taking that, that your time is money so the more time i take away from that the more i can put towards projects and there are plenty of projects to be working on right now which is a very thankful thing actually um when it comes to when you're trying to bring in, you know, clients and, and, and everything for your company, um, which is, you know, I, kind of the spearhead on that. So I, I kind of have to make sure that I have my card open to be able to do the things. Um, but even just uh, as we we're speaking to you a little bit yesterday, trimming down my own tasks to handing stuff over to um, other people. Um, I have determined I'm not doing wrestling videos and I'm not, not as a whole, but, um, like, uh, typically some wrestlers or, 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 and such will come in and ask us to edit videos. Uh, Chachi has been really stepping up his editing chops. So that's an opportunity for him. And now that's something that I don't have to have in my wheelhouse and don't have to deal with there or even automating certain things there are certain things that as we've been building and improving on indie wrestling.us is where we sell a lot of our productions that we're working on um you know it, there's a lot of automation that i'm putting in there uh we have like some of the back end so some of the people we work with can get their footage um that's being i'm turning around a different process for that and now it's not a facebook message at nine o'clock on podcast night where um, somebody's asking for footage and I'm like, I can't even look at your thing until tomorrow sometime, you know, sorry, buddy. Whereas some of these guys, more of these guys that I trust, I can give, you know, a, a certain amount of access and I can deal with it. You know, the guys that are going to be working with the videos. Um, so that's where I'm at with the trimming down. I mean, it really, you do need to take stock. Um, I actually, it's been advised, I, I advise like maybe every three months, you should look at your process. If you have a, you know, a social media plan, a media plan, a podcasting plan uh, that's getting you out there, um, you know, this is to you guys in the wrestling promotions. I know at least one of you is listening out there. You need to assess that. You need to not just do the Twitter thing because the Twitter thing is the thing you were supposed to do. You need to do the Twitter thing and say, Okay, the Twitter thing's not working. Either I need to do something different with the Twitter thing and see if I can get more reaction, or I need to drop the Twitter thing and focus on this thing over here that is working and put more energy into that, or at least ride that, you know, to where it's going. Um, and I think that applies to a lot of things. So, so trimming down is the is the phrase of the day. Let me know what you're kind of looking at. What are you trimmed down? Is there something you trimmed out of your processes? 
that just alleviated so much of your life. Every time you, you, you get one of those off your shoulders, it's, it's, it's just feels lighter, you know, just like, you know, just like, just like, like, Oh, I left that job. Yeah. yeah. But it's a little, little bits, little bits that you put on yourself. Um, let you get off your shoulders. So let me know what you think at Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatronmedia.com.